Hi guys, it's me Morgan. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul for you today. It is a small haul, but it's got some pretty good stuff. Um, real quick, ignore what's happening here. I have a Friendsgiving to go to this evening, so I'm my hair's damp, so it I'm clipping it back so it'll dry to where when it when I take it out it'll stay anyway um look at my new frames by pair eyewear it is their holiday edition love them and real quick i'm just gonna go ahead and get this out of the way if you are not already a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button um i would be more than happy to welcome to the family we have quite a bit of fun here because i'm pretty forgetful pretty silly from time to time my dogs tend to get on my nerves when I'm recording quite often, so that gets pretty comical. Um, if you like this content, please go give me a thumbs up or comment down below or both. It really helps my channel grow. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, if you like my content here, go follow me on Instagram. It is at Cozy with Morgan. I post there Monday through Friday of DIYs I do with stuff I find at Dollar Tree, or just things I see at Dollar Tree that I think you all will want to see, but I don't necessarily need. So, with that being said, we are going to jump right on in. And first, we have this right. Health and Beauty. It's not a whole lot, but it's good. So, first, this is a brand City Color. This is matte lipstick. And they had a whole case of these. Like, that, or not really a case, but you know what I'm trying to say. All right. And I just bought three because I really don't need any more lipstick. But look how gorgeous this tube is. Like, and this one is color velvet number 52. And it looks like that. This one is number 53, and it is Melon. And it looks like that. And then this one is color 60, and it is Cabernet. And it looks like this. So, I don't have any lipstick on. I've already got my makeup ready for tonight. But I want to try this velvet color. Um... It's my, tonight's our Friendsgiving with all of our friends, or not Friendsgiving, Friendsmas with all of our friends. We get together, we drew names, we each give each other gifts, we play Bungo, um, we play the Saran Wrap game. We just have fun. So, worst comes to worst, I'll just take it off because I'm actually wearing, um, my family, we bought matching pajamas to wear tonight. So, that's that. And let's see. Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, the color's pretty, but it is so thick that it goes on like it's rough. Mm. Okay, I'll have to fix that after the video. But, I mean, the color's gorgeous. The color is popping. But the application is not the best. Not going to lie. Okay. <clears throat> Next in that city color, I found this glowing complexion. Illuminating cream. Size um, Hylographic. High shine, lightweight, illuminating cream. This is what that looks like. I bought one for me. One for the makeup giveaway. Guys, remember when we hit 500 followers, I am doing a makeup giveaway. And there are tons of of stuff in there. kind of need to get it out of my closet. So, let's get this up going. Um, this says, Distributed by Beauty Plus Global Inc. Ontario, Canada. 
cruelty free. So I'm going to try to open this. Oh, that was easy enough. All right. Well, that's cool. So the lid twists off and let's see. Don't really smell like anything. Whoa, but it is, I don't know if you can see that. Not really. There's some of it. It is super pigmented. Like, let's just, you know. I already got some highlighter on, but, you know, it is what it is. So, this, if you like really bright, out there highlighter, this is going to be up your alley, for sure. So, all right, and last, whoop, in Health and Beauty, I found these, um, they're called a bubble cakes. It is by Body and Earth. Uh, it says distributed by Body and Earth, Inc. Made in China, not tested on animals. It says crumble under running water for a frothy bubble bath. Um, this one is Ocean Waves, and it says two uses per bar. And this is what it looks like. These would be so cute as stocking stuffers or in a teenage gift basket because of how this looks. And I can't smell anything. But, so there's that. This one is Fresh Mango. And then this one is Lavender Potion. These were the only three scents that I found at my store. If you found more, comment down below. I would love to know what I need to be on the lookout for. So these are definitely going in my gift drawer. Alright, that is it for health and beauty. Next we will do um, food. Which is also not a whole lot, to be honest. Like I said, I didn't find a whole lot this time around. Um, but I did find these, and I'm super excited. So I bought two, and they had tons. They are eight and a half ounce bags of Cracker Jack. The original with a prize inside. I love Cracker Jack. This is a big bag. So I bought two, because I'll... Honestly, it took everything I had not to break into those. Next, I found this uh, 5.29 ounce salted caramel and chocolate cookies. Now, these would be cute in a gift basket as well. It's very aesthetically pleasing. But, they're best by 525 2022. And, so... When I bought these, me and my daughter ate one of them. Uh, you get, so I actually bought two, but you know, you get eight in a package. They are delicious, like amazing. Um, the only thing that would make them better was if they were those soft, chewy ones. They're not. They are a crunchy cookie, but they are so good. Mmm, they're good. I highly recommend those. Alright, and last in food is this. My son picked it out. It is an Airheads. You get five bars. It says the limited flavor of citrus rust. So, he wanted those. And you, you know, you get watermelon, blue raspberry, white mystery, cherry, and then a citrus rust. Rush, not rust. All right. Another bag gone. Next up is household, which if you are new to my channel, household is kind of a collective category. It is household items, cleaning products, toys. It can be anything. If it doesn't have a category that has more than one or two items, it goes in household. With that being said, they brought out their little saving banks again, and I could not pass this one up. It says B 
the change you want to see in the world. And it is these gorgeous bees with the honeycomb. You can always DIY these. Now, I've done it before. Um, you take the back off. You use finger polish remover, acetone, you know, something like that, and gently wipe, scrape a little bit. The words will come off. They are on the inside of the glass, not the outside. And then use tissue paper or whatever, a napkin, whatever design you want there. Paint it. Do your own thing. Um, I have one in my room right now that I redid that's like tie-dye. It's real cool. Um, but I bought this for my tear tray for spring. I want to do at least one tear in like a bee theme. So that's what I bought this for. I love it. I think it's cute. I mean, look how cute those little bumblebees are. So there are those. Next, I found the, um, and it blew my mind, a three pack of dry erase markers with eraser by Jot. For a dollar. Now, I don't know if it's new or not. I've never seen it. That doesn't mean anything. It could just be new to my store. But what's cool is, like, it's the eraser, but then the markers fit in the side. So it doesn't take up as much space and stuff. How cool is that? They are chisel tip, and like I said, it is by John. So I was super pumped. And it's really, like, it's pretty good quality, for real. Okay. And last, I found some more of the tower tumblers. Now, I've been buying them for, I keep one for my, me and my family to play with. I have a couple boxes for crafts. Um, you can do so many things with them. But I actually bought these two to put in my gift drawer for, um, like, a Toys for Tot or a charity or um, donating to the Children's Hospital. So, that's what I bought those two for. All right. Now, last in this category, or in this haul, is Christmas. So, first I bought two. Of these DIY ornaments, they are the um, clear, but they're the flat ones. I want to try making a couple of ornaments out of these. Um, you can put polyacrylic, I think. Um, swirl it around there real slow, let it drip out, put glitter. Swirl it around really slow. Let it drip. Let it dry. I let mine dry for a couple days. Um, and then, you know, write 2021 or Cricut or stickers, Mod Podge. You can do just about anything and make your own ornaments. It'd be super cute for your kids to do for your grand, for their grandparents, their aunts and uncles, um, that kind of thing. So, there's those. Next, I purchased one tin, and I've been doing really good about not buying tins this year, but I had to. If you are new to my channel, I freaking love penguins. If it's a penguin, more than likely I'm going to buy it. Look how cute he is. I love that his scarf and his hat is blue and not like the red and green because this way he could actually be used all winter long. So, but how cute is he? He opens up. He's gold on the inside. Bottom looks like this. He's just so cute. I love him. They had a Santa one too, but... Penguins where it's at? I'm telling you. I purchased one pair of socks by Christmas House. They are the low-cut cut so socks. There we go. <sighs> It says it fits shoe sizes five to nine, and they're a little wonky looking, but I could not pass them up because they are little puppy dogs, but they're fuzzy. Like, look at them. They're just fuzzy little puppies. Now, the top of it's green, the heel and the toe is black, and then the rest is green. But, I mean, 
they're just so cute in their little Christmas hats and scarves and everything else. I love it. So, there are those. Now, these are actually found in the party section. But, but I'm going to put them with Christmas because they're for my Christmas presents. Um, this is a repurchase. This is by Voila. You get two of this gorgeous matte gold bows. I wrapped some presents and it was with the Dollar Tree. Um, it was like a flannel. Wrapping paper. That's what I wanted to say. And I put one of these in the middle. And it was a perfect square gift. Oh man, it's so pretty. So I had to get another pack. I just had to. Next, I purchased two, well, one of this two pack, but it's white with silver lining. I thought they were really pretty, really elegant. They're by Voila as well. And then last in bows is this gold. But it has like a ribbon wrap around that's like silver. It's really shiny. I bought one that was silver and had this. And I already used it. And I used it on the Dollar Tree navy blue with white snowflake paper. And it looks so pretty. So I found this one and I was like, oh, I got to get that one. I just have to. So I love it. I mean, look how Sparkly that is. Now, from Christmas House, I purchased this 15 square feet of this silver and like this really pretty navy blue snowflakes. I thought it was different. I usually don't do a whole lot of silver. So I love it. It is 2.5 feet times 2 yards. So there's that. And then I found this one. It is the same size. It, But these are the metalized gift wrap. That's what they're calling these. Let me see. You're going to have to read it sideways. Sorry, guys. But, look. This is navy blue gold silver. Or gold stripes silver dots. Look how pretty that is. I love it. It's not traditional. But, sometimes you want to just break out. Look at. I look like i got a halo going on, guys. I'm sorry. Sunlight's coming in back here. But. Anyway, this, paired with this, oh, awesome. I don't even know if I'm going to need wrapping paper, but if not, I'll have it next year. All right, next, I purchased some Christmas boxes. Um, this is a two-pack. It doesn't say what size it is, but they're the bigger boxes. Um, this one says, Tis the Season. And it is a snowy scene with the red truck. It has a holly wreath on it. Presents. Look at the buffalo check back here. How pretty is this? And then you flip it over and it says merry and bright. And look. I love the barn, the snowman, the lantern. I don't know why, but I love this little detail. I love it. It is so pretty. And then I found this. And they're the same size. But I, I really liked the, the shades of the colors on this one. And it says sled hire hot cocoa warm blankets. And look at these pretty. Like it's oh, the gorgeous sleds. Like. I love everything about this. And I really am a sucker for gift boxes. Like, I can't help it. And then look, this one. 
It says Seasons Greetings. It is the same grayish green. I don't even know what to call that color. But look at this truck. It's just a good old classic gray truck. It says Tree Company. How gorgeous are these? I love them. I just couldn't pass them up. Plus, I don't think I have a whole lot of that size boxes left, so you don't know. So, with that being said, guys, that is that. That is it for my haul. This is a small haul, so for those of you that like the smaller hauls, this is for you. Um, I gotta go finish getting ready. Check on the pumpkin rose I'm making. It never ends. My daughter's actually on her way to a basketball game right now that they scheduled last minute. So she chose to go to it instead of the friends miss, which she said, and I quote, I made a commitment to my team. I can come to the uh, friends miss afterwards. I said, okay, that's fine. So that's responsible of her. And I agree, but I wasn't going to make the decision for her. It was her choice. We have a basketball game tomorrow, too. We've had a basketball game every day except one night this week. And that was the day we had the Christmas parade and we were in it for the football. So, it's been a busy week. But, we're going to wrap it up with a whole lot of fun. So, with that being said, I hope every single one of y'all have a fantastic day. And I will see you at my next Dollar Tree haul. Bye, guys.